and you're checking out the Salindo Ray Show on webseriesnetwork.com. I'm excited to be here. I'm glad you booked me, and uh, whatever questions that you have, I'll try my best to answer your questions. Okay. So I'll go back. I'll go back to my question. Yeah, you got it. Okay. So I'm going to ask you. So what? Um, what is Web Series Network? Tell me about that. We are an online community. WebSeriesNetwork.com is a social networking website that I started in 2009. And, um, you know, currently we have about 1,300 members on the site. We have a little over 7,000 fans on Facebook. We're basically an online destination for web series producers and uh, fans to come together and network and share ideas and resources and have discussions about web series production. So we kind of like the Facebook for web series. So okay. in, a, in a nutshell, that's uh, what we are uh, the site to does that mean it takes social media to another level then? Or, is it, or um, does it integrate? Oh, uh, well. How does that work? Well, I mean, social media is infused into what I do because, you know, my videos are distributed on YouTube. And, you know, as, as well as the content that I have is disseminated and shared on Twitter and Facebook. So social media is like a you know, it's intertwined and integrated into the actual Web Series Network brand. But, uh, but the site alone in itself is, it, the site alone itself is a social networking site. So it's all, um, they're all intertwined and they all work together uh, to help one another out. Yeah. And that's, you know, on your website, mm -hmm. when the audience goes to webseriesnetwork.com, mm -hmm. they'll find what? That's a very good question. Well, when you when you log in for the first time on WSN, what you would find is we have a forum, a discussion forum, which is front and center. That's the first thing that you're gonna notice is front and center. That's where our members um, come together and you know have discussions. You know, if they have any questions, they can start a thread. You know, start a, a thread with a new topic, and then people just kind of you know respond and then just kind of go back and forth. So you notice the forum discussion. That's pretty prominent on the site and then following that you're going to see um, the featured news section. So this is where I write the news about web series and I have a couple of admins on there who have, um, they have blog post privilege, meaning they can go on there and post. I usually don't approve everything but with these two people that I have on the site they can post stuff on, on the site and then it automatically gets featured on the site. So we have the featured news section going, we have the forum section going, we also have the video section going to where members can go and upload their videos and webisodes. Or whatever video that interests them, they can go and upload them. We have the photo section um, going on to where people go and upload their set pictures or pictures from vacation or whatever. So it's, it's, it's just a social networking site. So know? it's a sharing of ideas and, and what works and what hasn't worked and you know, give, gives people kind of a, a resource. Absolutely. I mean, it's 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 an informative site where people come and you know and learn things about web series, but it's also an entertainment site, you know, in a way because I post you know web series on it that interests me. So it's not really all about an edu it's not really primarily an educational forum. It's you know, it's an entertainment, informative destination. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh man. So tell, tell me a little we bit about have, what happened over, you know, before you just, before you just finished this project. Well, we, we, did, we did the first, we did our first edition Women in Web Series networking event. That happened in LA on February 19th. It's, it's just basically a collection of women web series producers in one location. They come together for networking purposes. They also come together to share ideas and resources and try to help each other out. You know, so there's that sense of camaraderie going on um, with the Women in Web Series um, event that I set up um, just this past week. But in addition to that, I also try and hold monthly meetups, like get our members off their computers, get them, you know, to meet each other face to face, to build a stronger relationship. 
so we have the meetups going um, as well. Um, what else is coming up? We have the magazine that's coming up. Oh, <laughs> you want me to go? <laughs> yeah, no, no, you go ahead. You got it going on. You we have the magazine, on. the web series list coming up in. When is it coming out? It's coming out in April. Coming out in April first. It's gonna be our. Um, it's gonna be a first of its kind. Um, magazine that's going to have a listing of web series to watch all submitted by by the producers themselves so you, you have to pay to list your web series in the web series magazine and I'm doing the whole Oprah Winfrey thing with it um, by putting myself on the cover of every issue that comes out and um, we, we're releasing it quarterly Quarterly, okay. so every three months. So the first issue is going to be um, April, May, June, and then second issue comes out July, August, September. Third issue, yeah, you know, it is released every every three months. So yeah, um, I'm excited about that. I can't wait to. Um, we're doing the photo shoot on March 5th. Okay, great. And you're gonna you're gonna film that, right? I'm gonna shoot yeah, that. Film. Yeah. Okay, I'm, good, good, good. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna film the video to, to give our members the behind the scenes. Right. It just gives you another glimpse of who you are okay. and, and what your, you know, what your kind of, your vision is for um, the Web Series Network. So do you want to talk about that? What your, my, what my, your vision is? I mean, to, you know, my, hey, six months out or a year out or whatever, you know, what, what is your vision for Well, the, the first and foremost is to continue to provide great service. Because I look at Web Series as a service that I'm providing you know that I created to help web series producers, um, fans, or anyone who might be interested in web series production. So I always look, I always approach everything that I do from a service perspective, as opposed to just saying, okay, I have a website. What we have is a service, a utility that we're pro providing for people, and that's why we've been able to grow, uh, you know, to the level that we are we are at now. So for me. Um, you know, six months, a year from now, I mean, I don't know where we're going to be, but I know what I'm going to be doing yeah. is to continue to just keep on servicing the web service community by giving them a professional platform where they can come and get together and meet each other and share ideas. And so that's the, that's the sort of approach that I'm taking, is just, just continue to do good work and continue to provide good service to our, to our members and leaders. So I'm going to go back to, I mean, you're, you're doing all this work and you've got your Web series, uh, web series network you've got the magazine, you've got oh. your different uh, meetup groups, yeah. and you've got the uh, women in web series um, network. networking. networking. Yeah. And, so, and that's big. That's okay, so you, you're doing all these things. Can I ask you, what inspired you to, to do this? I mean, what's your background? <laughs> all of those things. No, no. You know, some of my want to know, where, you know how, do you do, how do you become that? How do you do that? So, okay, very important question to ask. My background is in entertainment. I, I have a degree in film production. I went to Cal State University of Northridge. I graduated there in 2004. And you know how the industry is. You have to, and this is kind of like when I graduated, it was the time that the internet was starting to become popular in a way. YouTube wasn't even invent, invented then. I think YouTube was around 2005. So I graduated like a year before that, okay? And what do you do? You know, you have to make music videos to try to get in, in, the, in the game, which I did. I, I shot some music videos. It's on YouTube. You can find it on there. I did some local commercials as well. You know, just to kind of build my reel to try to get into traditional, traditional Hollywood. And it was just kind of hard to be able to break into it because I'm one of millions of people who are trying to get into it. And then when the internet, you know, came about, and it just sort of leveled out the playing field. It opened doors for everyone. I'm like, okay, why am I going to bother trying to create something so I can get hired by a studio when I can just focus on building my own brand? So everything that I did, I always threw Rich and Barricade on it because I knew at the end of the day, I make things happen. You know, the content doesn't, does not define me. I'm the one that's making the content, so it's important for me to brand myself, okay? So, I basically took everything I learned about traditional entertainment and I digital, digitalized it and made it just for the, for, the, for, the, for the web. And to answer your questions about why I'm making these like branched 
extensions of WSN. It's based on the needs of my audience. Okay? So, I am very good at being able to identify what my audience wants, the demand, and then I create the supply. Because I had feedback a while back about people just kind of, oh, they wanted to meet other, um, other, they wanted to meet their peers, like away from the internet. That's when the meetup started. So I was able to identify that demand and I created the appropriate supply. The magazine that's coming out, that's also a demand that I noticed and I'm creating a supply because yeah, we are online, yeah, we are, you know, everyone wants to do the whole digital internet thing, but at the same time, there are people out there that still read newspapers. There are people out there that still read magazines. So, me creating that, I'm creating to satisfy that audience, that, that traditional media is somewhat neglected because everyone is now leaving print, yeah, leaving print to go digital and I'm doing it backwards. Right, see, and I thought that you were doing that. So, but that I'm going print. Right, exactly. So, okay. So, yeah. you know, because you're, and then, you know, back to that, that whole, like, you're, you've got this, you're branching out, you're yeah. listening to your audience, you're paying attention to, you know, what the needs are, yeah. the people that are, um, that you're serving. Yeah. I mean, you have to. I mean, that's the only way that you can service your audience. You, you have to pay attention to their needs. You have to really pay attention. You have to really, I'm, I'm serious. You cannot succeed without knowing the needs of your audience and creating, um, you know, products to meet those needs. So at the end of the day, it's business. I mean, yeah, it's all digital and everyone wants to do entertainment and art. But at the end of the day, it's business. It's a supply and demand business. You know, the key thing is identifying the, the demand that people want <laughs> and then being the first to create that supply because after you, other people are going to start following but by the time they catch up to where you are, you've already moved on to other things. So that's where I am, is <laughs> I'm setting the trends. Because I'm sure that right. people are going to follow me. I was going to ask you about trends, too. Yeah. You know, because I, I'm seeing that the more research I do on what's, yeah. what's going on in the web, and the more I, my, you know, my personal work, that I see across the board, the really the demographic is much different than what I It's global. I mean, right. it's, uh, it's it's one of the largest platforms around. There's no geographical limitations with the web. Um, so it's in your best interest if you want to compete in the long run to have a strong online presence. See, all these things that I'm looking at, I'm looking at it from a business perspective, and that's why I've been able to do. Don't get me wrong. At the end of the day, I'm still an artist, but I'm also a businessman. About yeah. what you're doing, so you you can you can actually you know find a way to you know build your network and yeah. do what you love to do. Yeah. Yes. And you're doing it the way you do. You, have you yeah. thought about do, you know doing your own like um, web series, like real like? Well, I mean, have you thought about <laughs> being in the production aspect? Of it? Well, for me. I, I just don't want to create, because I don't have anything else to prove right now at this point. So I'm not trying to like say, okay, well, this is what I can do as a director, or this is what I can do as a producer, or this is what I can do as a writer or editor. I've, I've done that, and I've done great at that. What I, what I always look at is, is this, can you, can you monetize this? I look at it more from a product perspective as opposed to from, a, from an art perspective. Like, okay, does this thing have potential to be able to appeal to advertisers? So I look at it, but at the end of the day, it takes, believe it or not, it takes money to make money. Yes, it does. So you can create web series all you want, but every time you produce, money is going out. Right. But if money is not coming in to continue to fund that project, guess what? You fall to the side. Right. So when I look at projects, I always look at it more as a, as a long-term product. Okay, will people buy this product? And by buying it, I mean, will they watch it? Okay, so that's the sort of approach that I take. So 
So to answer your question, am I going to create my own web series at some point in time? If it makes sense financially, I'll create it. If it doesn't make sense financially, I won't. So <laughs> that's the difference between me and you know some other people out there. Well, because you, you know you're, you are an artist and you are a business, owner, and that's where the two oftentimes, yeah. and not always, but oftentimes, yeah. don't mesh with people who are artists. They they they've got their craft yeah. and they're brilliant at it, and it's you know, the whole aspect of how do I take my craft and present it. Yeah, you know, and, and, and there's nothing wrong with being an artist yeah. and not having no. any understanding of business. There's nothing wrong with that. But you should find someone that can handle that business aspect so you can focus on being an artist. You, you just can't be an artist alone and then neglect the fact that, oh, I still got to market. Right, exactly. You know, I still got to get this out to my audience. Like, you don't, some people don't even know who their audience is. You know, they wait until they're done before they now decide, oh, who's going to watch it? Right. And you've already spent $20,000. So there's that whole, how do you balance, I mean, that's that there's a balance there, we're finding, you know, know that you have, you have this gift and you, and you can create, right? and then and, knowing how to. And that, and that is where the business, business side of you comes out. Right. Because it's the business side of you that's going to be saying, who am I making this for? Right. While your creative side is saying, cut action. Right. Cut <laughs> action. The business side is thinking, oh shit, who's gonna watch it? Right. Can I make money out right. of it? I mean, what is my audience or what is, who, what is my demographic? Or, or who is gonna advertise oh, in my show to try to reach the audience that I'm making it for? So, Got it. so this is your business side now speaking to you. Some people just don't have it at all. <laughs> <laughs> or, they, or they suppress it. Right. <laughs> and then when they're done, when everyone goes home, they take. The money, listen, people set aside money for premieres, for launch parties, and they have zero money for advertising or marketing. So it's the business aspect that's going to say, well, that $2,000 that you've had to set aside to go do a lunch premiere party with red carpet that no one cares about, <laughs> he's going to say, wow, maybe I can put this money into buying ad space in the newspaper. Right. Or creating a marketing campaign. So we can't make content like Hollywood. You have to think because you're independent artists that every money that you have should go into, so it should be pumped into whatever platform would allow you to present your material to the audience that you are trying to reach. A red carpet event. <laughs> He's not going to get you an audience, I'm sorry. So you, you can take lots of pictures. And <laughs> that's it. Just to show right, off that you right, have a exactly, suit. Right. That's it. You right. know, it doesn't help anything. That's why I don't go to these things. Right. And that's why I don't hold one. Huh? <laughs> it's not going to do anything for me. Right. Okay. And that's, that's the difference between, you know, the internet, the web, mm -hmm. and Because um, you really do, you aren't limited. Yeah. You can you can create. You're not limited at all. No. You're not. I mean, of course, content of sexual nature is not allowed on right. YouTube, which is the primary distribution platform anyway. So you're limited in that regard. Right. Okay. Content-wise, you're limited. But as far as like being able to distribute, you're not. So because the site doesn't allow anything of like a sexual. You're not. You're not gonna upload a pornographic on YouTube. Right. So, um, so, what's next? Yeah, what's next? I mean, like, immediate Whoa. future next. What is next for, for me? Yeah. I, I'm working on so many things right now. But the priority for me right now is the magazine. Okay. The web series list magazine that's coming out in April. That's a priority for me right now. It's what I'm working on right now. I'm writing it right now. Um, we sold advertising on that thing because these advertisers are content creators because I'm making 500 copies of the of the uh, of the launch sub, um, the premiere um, subscription whatever I'm making 500 copies of that 
and I look at it like, okay, if 10 people read one copy, you multiply that by 500. So it's the impression that you're getting, and because it's a, because it's released quarterly, the magazine ain't going nowhere. So people can actually read it for three months because it's, it's a quarterly release. So you're gonna see April, May, June on the cover of that magazine. So it's the impression that counts. So you, you print 500 copies, you may end up with 20, 30, 000, 20, 30 40, 50 impressions per copy during the, during the um, duration of that quarter. You know, does it make sense? Yeah, it does. Yeah. And so yeah. what's your, dis your distribution model on, on those 500 copies? What, tell me about how you're going to... Good question. How are you going to get them into the hands? I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go give it to them. Okay. <laughs> All by yourself? Oh, yeah. Okay. No, I'm not going to do it myself, <laughs> but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hire people to go... Listen, it's what I call the 500 mags and 500 hands campaign, to where we are literally bringing the web series this to the general public okay. like we're gonna put it in their hands like this this is what the web series list is this is what it's about read it lots of web series on there we videotape the campaign for uploading to YouTube so that the, the marketing campaign alone is a, is a web series in itself so unlike other publications where the, the print or the newspaper or magazine sits because we're only printing 500 copies, we are taking it and putting it in 500 different hands. Put me like in your hands like that. Like, like we're sitting here right now. Someone uh, would come up to me. And give, and and give, give you me one. a magazine and, 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 and tell, what and it tell is. you about it. Because okay. so I you, might so know, you know. What are you doing? Because the general public doesn't know what web series is. Right. So this allows us a way to introduce you, number one, to the magazine. And then... Number two, introduce you to web series and let you know that you can go check out these web series on, you know, on, on the, wherever sites that they are. So the, the dot com, the, the, the web series list dot com forwards to web series network dot com. Oh, yes. oh yeah. Okay, good. I'm not, not going to have a, a, a standalone site for the magazine just yet. Okay. It's going to forward to WSN and then as we grow, I'm gonna create. I'm gonna give it its own brand and its, its own identity. Okay. Yeah. So everything that I do has a chance of standing on its own two feet, individually. But it's also hard work. I mean, it takes hard work for you to get content to the right to, to your audience. They're not finding you no more. You gotta bring your your stuff to them. And that's what we're doing. Well, you know, when I when when the magazine comes out, would you come back and talk to me again? And we'll show, we'll show the magazine and see, see how it was. You can tell me all about what, how it was. This is my, this is, when I first came to LA, I wanted to be a model. I don't, I don't do that. <laughs> I wanted to be a model when I first came to LA. And <laughs> I'm not going to get in front of any magazine cover. So I'm excited to be in my own magazine. Exactly. Being the face of the web series. Well, if you're branding yourself. Which hey, is yeah. what you're doing. Yeah. And you know, and what you recommend people really to think about when they're when they're developing their series or doing anything that they're yeah. they're doing. Really, it's important to stay um, have some continuity with your brand, yeah. and, and yeah. you are your brand. Yeah. So yeah. why wouldn't you be just like you know, just like Oprah? She's, yeah. she's you know, and, and and the reason is you're gonna go on to create other stuff. You see, the draw, you the draw. It's not the magazine that's the draw. Right. Yeah. It's the person that produced it that's the draw. Right. So when you brand yourself, you're gonna go on and create other projects. Whether it's a web series, whether it's a book, whether it's a magazine, whether it's a shoe line, whatever. Because you branded yourself, your audience will automatically follow you wherever you go. So that's why it's so important to get in and build an online presence. Because that's where people go to get information now is on the internet. Before anyone does anything with you, they Google you first. Right. Or they check your Twitter, or they check your Facebook. Right. So that's why <laughs> it's of crucial importance to have a strong online presence. If you're going to win. That's a great win. If you're going to win. Right. Well, thank you, Rich, for being here tonight, today, and uh, joining me on my premiere. And I hope to see everyone again. Yeah, I'm excited.
excited. I'm excited for this show. I'm excited for this show. And I'm excited that you finally, because I've told you before that you have a, an entertainment personality and an entertainment face. I know that guys are going to love you. I know that women are going to love you. I know that appetizers are going to love you. So I can't wait to see, um, you know, where you take the Selena Ray show. I have uh, a lot of people lined up. I have producers. I'm, I'm looking I have, forward to um, yeah. Up and coming uh, musicians. Uh, some web series um, that they're actually in their second year that I, I've uh, connected with. So I'm, I've got some people lined up to have conversation. Oh. And um, just. And, and we'll do. WSN, Webster's Network, is distributing the Selena Ray There you go. See? I got it. Yep. <laughs> you got it. You got it. That's right. So thank you, so Rich. Thank you. Thanks for having Check me. Check out webseriesnetwork.com. Rich, you there. Okay. Say it again. Ah, trust me. Everyone messes it up. Rich. Rich. Thanks thank for viewing. You.